This is a math lesson called the estimation jar. And this is one of my very favorite lessons because this is one that you will be able to use with a two-year-old, a three-year-old, all the way up to a 10-year-old. And it's called the estimation jar because what we are, the children are going to do is it's a guessing game. They're gonna guess what, how many is inside the jar. So the purpose of this lesson is it's, it develops curiosity in kids. They're going to love the idea of guessing. It's going to become a family event. Many times what we do with the estimation jar work is we put it on the shelf, any kind of a jar with a lid, and a tray and a little basket with pieces of paper and everyone in the family can take turns guessing how many items are inside the jar and then at the end of the week you get to open up the jar and count how many things and then you find out who was the closest to guessing so things you will need for the estimation jar are you will need a variety of things for good choices to put in your estimation jar when you're starting with very young children the bigger the objects the better so with a two-year-old or a three-year-old I would start out with things like Easter eggs or ping pong balls you want to make it very easy for the child to find success so the idea is you're going to guess how many things how many objects are in this jar and they can pick it up and turn it around and count and then as I said earlier you can even write it on a piece of paper or just guess and then at the end of the week or you can add some anticipation to the game by finding out later in the week when you open it up and figure out how many so for the young child Easter eggs or ping pong balls or different colored golf balls and the color differentiation will, differentiation will help them count more easily as they get older the items can get smaller so here we have different colored chips that they can count so you would put all these inside close the lid leave it on your shelf and then they can all take turns even when they have friends come over they can take turns guessing how many now as your child gets older they're gonna need more of a challenge they're gonna like more of a challenge so you can do things like marbles game pieces and when your child gets really old let's say a grade school age child you can even use little beads this way they're guessing large numbers they're really having to look in a small area well if there's 10 beads in that one inch square area how many square inches approximately is that so how many teeny beads could be in that jar it is a great problem solving game it's fun and the kids love doing it we want to show you how we count the objects in the classroom after you've had the estimation jar out and the children have all made their guess as to how many they think are in there then it's very exciting to get the jar off the shelf you'll get your rug out so the kids can get their physical mu movement walking around the rug and it's time to open up and there's always a big big anticipation as to who got the number correct and how many are in there so with the younger children obviously you'll just have a few objects and this will be an opportunity to practice counting one two three so for the younger children they can practice their numbers practice counting and it's a great opportunity now when your kids get older I just want to show you how far this work can go so let's say your kids are older now and you have put small beads in your estimation jar so just like with the very young children you're going to take this off the shelf it's time to count and find out so you're going to pour the beads on a rug and this is great opportunity for older kids to learn for instance counting by fives or counting by tens so you can have a group of children here we'd love to do this in the classroom everyone make a pile of ten and then we're gonna learn to count by ten so this could be maybe for five or six year olds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if you have several children you're gonna all make piles of ten so with the magic of television all the piles are now in order so we've got ten beads in each pile so what the children can do I'm gonna pretend that there's two extra over here so now we have to count by tens and this is a great lesson because that's a lesson counting by tens later so ten twenty thirty forty 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 
161, 162. So obviously we have gone from the simplest of estimation jar counting to very complicated. There are so many levels in between that you will want to do. So you would obviously never go from Easter eggs to teeny tiny beads. But this gives you an idea of how far this lesson can go and how you can start off counting. You know, when you first do the teeny tiny beads, you probably wouldn't want to put over 100 beads. You'd want to start with the smaller beads at 90 or 92 because going from 100 to a 110 is a big step. So make sure you go gradually with in increments. This estimation jar work is something that you can use in your home for five years or more. It can constantly be changing. You can do it every week, but if you feel the children are getting a little bored with it, as always, put it away for a while. Put it away for a month or so, get it back out. But this is a wonderful way for children to practice counting, learning their numbers, and it, it develops a curiosity about numbers and math.